Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day four where we attempt to drive cross country in my Suzuki Cappuccino. Yesterday we took that $70 L and I end up driving to Sonora, Texas, which now means today all I have to drive is about three and a half hours till we get to Austin. In Austin, we're gonna meet up with one of the homies, Greg. He actually owns a shop. I'm considering doing a whole oil change when I get there too, but we'll see how the oil looks. And outside of him having a full performance shop, he also owns and works on a bunch of K cars. I know he bought my old Jimny. I believe he has a brown Suzuki Cappuccino. So it's gonna be cool to compare those two. And then later today, there's gonna be a car meet later today at seven. I believe a lot of cool K cars are gonna come out. So that should be interesting. And then from there, that's where everything gets kind of wishy-washy. After Austin, I technically could just drive straight home, but I'm thinking of spending the night in Austin for Friday and maybe Saturday as well. And then Sunday, I'm gonna head to Dallas. I should do a cool little small car meet there. Hopefully, allegedly it's gonna rain, but let's hope it doesn't. And then from Dallas, I would love to stop in Memphis, uh, Nashville real quick. And then I think from Nashville, I'm pretty familiar with the rest of the route. So there's nowhere there that it's new to me and I would love to stop, but eventually I will have to get a hotel. So stay tuned to my Instagram, stay tuned to my YouTube page where I'll update you guys exactly where I'll be. If you're in the area, definitely would like to do a small little car meet, but enough talking. Let's head to Austin. I'm currently three hours and 36 minutes away from his shop, ATX Custom Auto. Probably stop and get some food on the way. But another day, another good old cold start. I'm about like an hour away from Austin. I'm gonna get some food first. I'm gonna go to Terry Black's. That's like a famous barbecue spot out here in Austin. The cappuccino's been doing fine. I've been driving for about two and a half hours. Just filled it up with about 20 bucks of gas. I would say you can drive about three hours nonstop on the highway on this six gallon tank before you need to get gas. So it's kind of annoying, but every time I stop, I only put about like 20 bucks. So it's not the end of the world. Quick change of plans. I actually been to Terry Black's before and this sign looked pretty appealing. And then I saw that and I was like, you know what? Let me not go to the touristy spot. Let's go to this place and see what the barbecue is like. Here's all the food I got. We got jalapeno mac and cheese, baked potato salad. I never heard of baked potato salad, but this is delicious. Jalapeno cheddar sausage, chicken fajita, and one very large rib with some condiments. So I'm about to scarf this down. And then next stop will be at the homie shop in Austin. So we just got to custom ATX slash student driver club and I'm sitting inside a cappuccino and sitting in this without the bucket seat 
is such a huge difference. This would only improve my driving experience by a million percent, but check out this cappuccino. We actually got it from All Things JDM. I remember seeing this one and being like, this is a beautiful setup. Like, I love the brown. I love the spoiler. I actually wish mine had this little duck lip spoiler. Got the black Watanabe's. It being called the cappuccino and being brown, I think makes it a little cooler. And then this front bumper is in stock. Big fan of that as well. And then we got the step wagon. Double sunroof, pretty clean. We got my cappuccino. I actually maybe want to drive this one because mine allegedly has a bigger turbo and it does feel fast, but I haven't driven enough cappuccinos to see if I feel the difference. But I'm definitely going to look into buying this seat when I get to Japan. I want to see if I maybe get one of these um, dash covers and carbon fiber. I know those are pretty popular. This Nardi is a really good setup as well. Got a turbo timer. I got the key actually. We could start this one. Let's pop the hood and see if there's any big differences there. We got an intake, hard intercooler pipes. Looks like it has coilovers as well. Different spark plug wires, brighter headlights. Pretty stockish, but it does have some tasteful mods. Now let's start it. Much quieter. I thought that's a bad thing. It still does have a good note. So yeah, maybe he'll let me drive this today and I'll see if there's actually a big difference between the two. Next, we got this Skyline. Pretty cool GTS four door. Love the wheels. Nice SI. Down here is actually memory lane. We got, I'm gonna, not even gonna tell you yet. I'm not even gonna tell you yet. I'm gonna wait till we walk down there, but we have two cars that are pretty sentimental to me. One extremely, the other one is like, it's like I'm a girlfriend who just broke up with me. But over here we got this Alto. You guys know I've been dying to get one. After seeing that one in Cali, my um, love for these are even higher because we raced and it was honestly neck and neck. RSZ, I believe that means it's four wheel drive and turbo, which is pretty cool. And then look at this. So the winner of the giveaway lived in Austin and he dropped it off here to get some maintenance and some other things done. So that's pretty cool. Everybody loves a round headlight Acti. This one being blue makes it even better. I'm so happy I stopped here. Like I was gonna come here last time I was in Austin, but I think I was just too busy. But this is like, this is real life goals. Like I'm not even just saying this because we're friends or anything like that. Me and Greg is first time ever meeting. But like, this is really what I would love to have in a couple years. You know, like my little lineup of K cars, a shop inside and then inside i'm gonna show you the amount of things that i hoard that's just perfect for me. but over here we have another honda this one's older can't tell you the year but wow that interior is mint i wish it was open it's a four speed look at the shifter right there but this is cool and then save the best for last i think this might have been my first k that i've really like put my blood sweat and tears into if you guys remember this is the Jimny that actually someone also won in Austin. I believe Greg bought it. Painted it black. He left the yellow calipers and drums. Left the rims. Same steering wheel. Same gauges. Seat cover still on there. This is still on there. Ooh, different mirrors. I definitely didn't have those mirrors on. And then I guess he's going to do this last. Unless he wants to keep it like this. But I'm not 100% sure. But now... Let's walk over here where we have some other cool K's and some other cool cars that are actually sentimental to me. This is an Eclipse GSX. That was my first ever tuner car. The first car I ever bought in my life was an Eclipse like RS that had the 428 super slow. I just remember seeing Fast and the Furious and being in love. But this GSX, this was my first ever cool car. It was four wheel drive turbo. I told everyone I had a two door Evo. It actually blew the head gasket after me owning it just for a couple months, which is pretty sad. And then after that, I just bought like 90 Miatas. But this is another car that I would actually love to buy. Love to own one day. I'm just too stuck in my K-Ways. Then we have, uh, I think EK, correct me if I'm wrong. 300Z. From the looks of this, I'm gonna say maybe SMX. I'm not 100% sure, but then this guy, 
pretty cool setup on this sandbar glass roof automatic pretty nice and then even back here <laughs> there's even some cool stuff back here which is just look at that there's a half cut odyssey there is a sylvia with a mint sticker shout out to ricer miata there is a gold wrapped subaru i didn't even realize that this is actually pretty cool i've never seen a half cut car before Wow, this is so interesting. Whoa, look how mint that is. I didn't know what to expect, but this looks, this looks great. This wrap is pretty cool too. I don't know if I would ever do it, but actually, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine I had like a gold cappuccino. And then this big boy, you're in, you already know we're in Texas. We gotta see one of those. Then we got a Civic. And from the looks of that, it looks like another Eclipse actually. Greg, you're killing me. This was the first car I fell in love with. Yeah, 100% an Eclipse. What's going on right now? What is going on? Oh wow, I didn't even realize there was a red Honda Beat over here. And then these are the three spokes that I actually imported from Japan. I look pretty good on this. This was an option for the Beat, but I left the phone dials. Another cool K. And then we have this. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'm assuming it's a 87 Sylvia it looks like an 86 but a bit bigger now let me show you guys inside there's a couple of moto combos in there he's currently working on a skyline more parts more moto combos these are sick. Look at the paint on these. Um, had these rims on the Honda. Oh my God, look at this turbo. What? Here's a look at the inside. Like, tell me this is not goals. This is easily the coolest shop I've ever been to in my life. Might have to buy that actually. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here's all the info. Here's a card with the address. I think what I'm gonna do now is just ask if I can just drive this up and down the road. I don't really wanna go on the highway or nothing like that, but I wanna just see how it feels through like first and third gear because this feels quick. I mean, K car standards, it feels quick, but I'm comparing that to, you know, my automatic Minica, the Beats. I haven't really had any turbo fast K cars before. So in my opinion, it feels like a slowish fast K car, but maybe it's even quicker than stock. All right, they gave me the green light. This one is also for sale for 12.5 if anyone is interested. Starts right up. Let's see how those headlights look, seeing how they're upgraded. Probably gonna have to go to a setup similar to this. That looks fire. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. feels just like mine maybe mine pulls a little harder wow those brakes are great maybe mine pulls a little harder but it isn't anything where i could you know notice the difference and that wasn't even me gunning it because i'm holding my phone let me switch the camera i guess mine does feel a little quicker maybe it's the seat maybe it's a placebo let me try it one more time it isn't anything super noticeable, but let me see. Second gear. Oh no, my dust. I definitely feels quicker right there. Whoa, okay. My 
definitely feels a lot quicker. Let me go back into like... My speedometer doesn't work, so I can't even tell you. Like comparing speed-wise, it's really just seat time. And I'm actually curious. I would love for him to drive mine. Maybe he'll drive mine and um, we can compare. Although my seat isn't very comfortable. But wow, when I go to Japan, I gotta buy this seat. This makes driving a million times better. It isn't as sporty, obviously, but I don't really plan on tracking the cappuccino, per se. But yeah, I'm gonna give it one more pull. Let's go into first. <sighs> it's quick. It is quick. I don't know. If I just, I guess. Like, mine does feel quicker. Mine does feel quicker. It isn't like... But maybe like a couple more horsepower. So that's good to know. That makes me feel a little better. Maybe I do have a, maybe I have the whole N1 kit and I don't even know. I haven't even tried to get to 85 miles per hour yet. So yeah, not sure if mine is necessarily quicker. Maybe it's all in my head because of the exhaust and seat. But definitely cool to check this one out. Definitely really happy I stopped by Student Driver Club. These guys are where I want to be in a couple years. I think next clip, we're just going to head to the car meet at 7 p.m. Meet up with a bunch of K-homies. Just got to the car meet. Here's another look at the Jimny. I need to add underglow in the cappuccino. We got one on the Suzuki, the Honda, and the Supra. But yeah, this one is all-wheel drive. I wonder if we should do a race. Maybe I'll attempt to do a race before I leave here. But then we got the cap. Still kicking. Here's actually the raffle winner of the Honda Street. His Instagram is Actifire. Definitely one of the best Actis I've seen, period. And then this being a once fire truck, I feel like just gives it a better story. Makes it cooler. He's gonna do like some wood panels on the bed. That's not on there now. But he got the fifth bay there, third brake light, some extra lights there, nice spoiler, got the exhaust, the underglow, California mirrors, easily one of the best K-trucks I've ever seen. The lip, tow hook, fog lights, I could go on and on. <laughs> I could really go on and on. Even the interior has the same attention to detail. Bride seats, fire extinguisher. Right on the AC controls. This thing is sick. And then here's the blue one. Wow, more underglow. Underglow is back. I'm really happy I put it on the Minica. And I'm happy how easy it was to do it because underglow is back. We got like six people here. And almost everyone has underglow. I probably just end this video here. I'm now going to find a hotel or somewhere to sleep tonight. Today was a successful day four. truck in front of me with california plates this thing looks crazy i gotta get next to it we're gonna end the video here but i gotta get next to this cyber truck